going really well. Hey y'all, I'm Remy and this is JP. <laughs> Let's see how well my mom knows her books. Do you look happy? I don't think you look happy. This challenge was created by Jesse the Reader over on YouTube. However, I stumbled across it on a blog online at weirdzeal.com. I'm excited. Of the 28 questions, there are three that I can't answer because two of them are about what you rated the book and when you read it. And this is the first year I'm actually keeping track of that. And the third question is whether any of your books are signed or not. And none of my books are signed. <laughs> Free point. I don't know, that felt like cheating or something to count that one. I used a number randomizer to pick the shelf number and then the book number on that shelf. So let's get started. Okay, 13 and 18. Eight. Wait, ah, oh, crap. Eighteen. Michael Crichton book that I've never read. Actually, I haven't read any of these books on this bottom shelf. So I can't tell you about any of them. So this is a great way to start. Grave Descend. Something's going down off the coast of Jamaica. It's a crime novel. It's working it out. Grave descend. A boat goes down, this lady dies, and the manly hero solves the crime, or tries to since it's a description. He will solve the crime. Oh my god. <sighs> Diver James McGregor is used to exploring sunken ships, but there's something strange about the wreck of the grave descent. I am so wrong. No one aboard. It quite tells the same story about what happened. Then there's the mysterious cargo they were carrying. In one of the most beautiful places on Earth, a sinister plot is about to unfold. And if McGregor is not careful, he may find himself in over his head. So there was absolutely nothing about what I tried to infer or deduce on this front cover, that was correct, basically. All right, one, two, and 23. That doesn't count. One, two, three. Is there any books behind? No, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 23. The circle opens. Book number two. Oh, Street Magic by Tamora Pierce. Genre, young adult fantasy magic. Because all the kids have powers. So yeah, that one was easy. <laughs> Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare. There's usually people on the cover. Which people? <laughs> I don't exactly know. Hey, let's go with Jason Clary, right? Because there's, aren't there two people on the covers in, in these? Crap. Jason Clary. Hey! Oh! I was close. Clary and Alec. So I was half right? Do I get half a point? Totally get half a point. Is that a thing? <laughs> uh, but I remember there were two people on the cover! Hey! Sort of a win. Okay. Okay, so... Nine. And 15. 15. Sidar's Keep, book two in the Orin Trilogy by Midori Snyder. I really enjoyed these. There were like four main characters because it was a book about elemental stuff. I don't even think I can tell you what one of their names are. 
I read it a long time ago. Not looking, not looking. The new moon was about fire and a little bit about, was a little bit about air. This one's green. Oh, who is the, who was earth? What? From Africa, the power of earth. Who was, I give up. So this one is about the earth lady or the earth girl. Ah, boys, play nicely. You are so mean. Shedwin, she was Earth. Wouldn't have guessed that. Five, six, and five. One, two, three, four, five. Seeing red. This was Through the Looking Glass Wars trilogy, which was very, very good. Side character. This is the Queen of Hearts count. Dude, I am so bad at like the name thing, like any name. There's the Red Queen, or the Queen of Hearts. Well, this is Red, Red Queen. Queen, Red, Red, totally counting that. Okay, 13 again, and two. Rising Sun, number of pages. This is a big one. What are we gonna go with? How many pages do you think are in here, hmm? 500? 400. You don't care. 400. Well, if we count this little transcript, I'm still wrong. <laughs> 343 or 345 if you count this unnumbered page. Okay, next. Eleven and one. One. I have read this one. The Ice Limit. Where does this book take place. Ice limit. So it's at one of the poles. I read this one. Hey, I should know this. Can I phone a friend? My dad read this book too. Edge of the world, edge of the world, edge of the world. Well, that's embarrassing. Antarctica. Southern Chile. Where's the map? Is that close to Antarctica? Close enough. Fourteen. That's right behind me. All right, sixteen. Game Board of the Gods by Michelle Reed. Michelle Mead. Rochelle Mead. Game Board of the Gods by Michelle. Game Board of the Gods by Rochelle Mead. There were parents. There were parents. I'm totally cheating, but since they're the parents and not the main characters, they're not here. At what point do I just say, I have no idea. Let's go. With, I don't know, I don't know. How do I even find out? I think maybe Google's faster. <laughs> How do I spend on this? Okay, so without reading this whole book again, Sergio Cruz is somebody's dad, and then Cynthia is a single mother. So there we go, parents. Parents. Next. Sixteen. Hey, 
Uh, I know it says 23, but I have exactly one hardback on this shelf. I'm trying not to look. <laughs> Based on this, I'm going with white. Or beige. <laughs> totally beige. Twelve and ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, 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 six. Ten. Perfect. Douglas Preston and Lincoln Child, Book of the Dead. I really enjoyed this book. Is there anything on the hardcover under this gloriousness? Yes. Let's just go with yes. I don't know what it is. Does that count? Oh, the book's upside down. Like an imprint or an image of some sort. Not on the front, so that's wrong. But the little publisher stamp is totally, totally there. I'm going to count that one because I need points. <laughs> Woo! Okay, four, you can't see, and 26 book. Twenty-six. Okay. A great and terrible beauty. I never finished this. I think I read I think I finished the first one, but I don't think I finished I don't think I ever finished the series. I don't recall. Anyway, I'm gonna go with gold? Gold or silver? Gold. Gold! It is gold! Okay. Lucky guess. <laughs> Lucky guess. Alright, so five and six. Six. And they all have titles, so it's not just numbers. Let's find one. Actually, this one is even as I said, the writing on the wall. See? I could probably answer a lot of questions about Harry Potter. So yeah, so point for me, they totally have chapter titles, not just numbers. I can answer about Harry Potter. Three and 21. Oh shoot. 24, right? I said 24. Dude. I'm not looking, I'm not looking, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. Is there an award? I'm looking at the back, that doesn't count. Um, no. No award on this book. Nope. Blues for Nightmares. This is actually, this is a very interesting series. Hey you, you wanna read this book? This is a very good series, I'll have you know. Uh, so anyway, Blues for Nightmares, very interesting. No award on the front, which is a shame, because it was a good book. Here you go. Five again, and 26. 26. Author blurbs on the front. By, oh, by the sixth book? Ye yes. Excuse me, Tigger. No! <laughs> After I went on and on about how well I know Harry Potter books, there's no blurbs. It is blurbless. Okay, so maybe I can't answer all the questions about Harry Potter. Five, six, seven, eight, and twenty. What was the number? <laughs> 20. All right, Lost Hero, Rick Riordan, does it have? No, because on hardcovers, they're on the inside jacket. Yeah, this one's blurb full, okay? And description on the inside. Point for me. <laughs> 17. 
17. That's behind me also. 14. Fourteen. The Rick Castle book, uh, Frozen Heat. Is there an author picture? I haven't read this book yet, but since it's not actually written by a fictional character, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> no. Oh, there is. They actually put, <laughs> so they did actually put the author photo of the fictional character of the actor. Shelf number two and 11. 11. Timor Pierce. I think that's her real name. I'm going to go with Real name, because it's another Timor Pierce. This whole shelf. No, that's not Timor Pierce. A lot of this. This whole shelf. Oh. I always got one to screw me up. So, I don't think this is a pen name. I think it's her real name. So let us find out. It is Timor Pierce. Still alive. What? Okay, now I gotta know. Yeah, she's still alive. Why are people asking that? Ha! Huh. So it is her real name, but her mom wanted to name her Tamara, and the lady that filled out the birth certificate spelled it wrong. <laughs> Neat piece of trivia, if it's true, which, you know, you can never really believe Wikipedia, but whatever. Eight again and twenty-eight. <laughs> twenty-eight. Blood of Olympus. Rick Riordan again, and he writes in first-person perspective. Right? Yeah. First-person perspective. I remember. Totally remember. I was not. I was not unsure at any point. Apparently I got this for 30% off at Target. Stay. Shelf number 11 again and 16. Cat, I'm doing a thing here. You wanna help me count books? Just sit right there. 16. Another Douglas Preston, Lincoln Child, Riptide. Not my favorite of theirs, but whatever. Uh, any graphics in this book? No. Does that count? Those are page thingies. Crap, does that count? No. I'm right. Here, hold on to that for me. Ten and thirteen. What? Oh, there's a book in the back. Hey, Bubs. Wait, what was the number? Sixteen. Sixteen. Randy Wayne. Randy Wayne White. Randy Wayne White. Randy Wayne White. Everglades. Never read it, so I don't know if there's an epilogue, but why not? There'll be an epilogue. There's totally an epilogue. Epilogue! Look at me go. Guess for the win. Back for 10 and 17. Well, if that was 17. 
Lee Child, a Jack Reacher novel. Page number designs, page number designs. No page number designs whatsoever. Boya! <laughs> no page number designs. All right, next. All right, lots of pods. And two, which I technically already did. So I will, um, I guess I should. So one, two, that's what we'll do. Do the chapter headers have designs on them? Yes, yes they do, they do, ah, they do. I'm oddly excited. Sorry. Come on. Chapter designs, right? That's what they mean? Designs. I got this one. Thank goodness for the Harry Potter shelf and the Rick Riordan shelf. <laughs> Next. One and nine. Nine. Nope, not you, bad cat. Acknowledgements in the front or the back. Back is more common. I'm gonna go with back, because I don't actually remember. <sighs> That's the front of the book. Figures. You failed me! Sixteen again. And... Twelve. published. I am so trying to cheat, just so you guys know. And it's not working. My mom gave me this book a long time ago at this point. How long ago? You know what? I'm going to say I'm going to say that this book was published 2009. Why? Cuz I'm guessing. That's why. <laughs> 2008! I was so close! Can we count it? Can, can, we, can we count it? So close. So this concludes the challenge showing that I sort of know my books. Please try this at home. It's actually very amusing. And let me know how you guys did. And that's a wrap. That's not optimal. You weirdo. In the front. Oh, I'm so sorry. Mm. <laughs> I used to focus, gather yourself, and then speak. It's probably not necessary to say. I'm looking at myself in the mirror. It's a thing. How <laughs> am I not? I don't think I stopped the recording yet. All right, Nico, is there anything you would like to say? If you eat this. No, don't eat it! <laughs> Oops. That's all, folks.